Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. We've got the Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bulls. And it's Chicago to start out. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. They've got Malone. Maravich is out there with Stockton. And it's Dantley in at the three, the small forward. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Stockton passes to Eaton. To the paint. Here's Malone. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Rose. Pass to Gilmore. Michael Jordan on the wing. Maravich defending. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And we've seen it. He can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Pass to Eaton. He dishes it to Maravich. Stockton outside. Five on the clock. Over Rodman. Eaton the pass to Malone. And that one, good. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up, GA. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Rod Jordan again, Chicago. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Here's Dantley. Stolen by Pippen. Rose with the ball. Picked up by Stockton. Rodman passes to Pippen from deep. And it's Malone with the rebound. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Maravich against Pippen. He can't get that one. Some solid defense from Rose. Outside Jordan. Poked away. Here's Gilmore. Outside Rose. Pass to Jordan. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Kept alive. Outside for Pippen. Count the basket. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Outside, Maravich wants to get it to Malone and does. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. So Utah ends up going with a new group. Six on the shot clock, knocked away. Here's Hayward. Here's Gobert. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. Now here's Rose. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shock up two there. Just reliable guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. I've been against Karolenko. And there's the pass to Griffith. Another shot. Gilmore grabs the miss. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. Here's Griffith. Over Jordan. The putback. It's good on the putback. 
Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Rose kicks to Pippen. Fires the three. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Pippen's got five now. And that's the role they want for Rose. Getting guys going through his passing, especially when he can find them in River. Here's Griffith. This is to Hayward. Shoots over Pippen. Nice shot by Gobert. He has six. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. There's Rose with the three. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bulls lead by three. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Utah. They've got Donovan Mitchell. Rudy Gobert is out there with Andre Kirilenko. And it's Griffith and a shooting guard. I'll tell you what, and Dang is a committed defender. Can cover multiple positions, has that long wingspan, which really annoys shooting. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. And Utah making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Love finds Noah. The shot, no good. So Utah will take it the other way. Here's Bailey. He's covered by Dang. To the middle. Here's Robinson. That one drops for him. Chicago leading. Now Armstrong. The dish to Butler. Lets it go with a three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got four rebounds now tonight. Mitchell passes to Griffith. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Butler. That one falls. And it's really easy to appreciate Butler. I mean, especially how he just fends off contact on those difficult attempts. Now, here's Mitchell. No points in the game yet for him. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Lou all day. Utah's shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And he makes the first. And the Bulls making a change here. Sloan's checked in. So he gets them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Noah in block. That one goes careening off the glass. Maravich against Butler. No good for Maravich. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Noah with the bounce pass. Love inside. Guarded by Robinson. Love kicks to Sloan. Shot clock at six. No good with the triple. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Inside. And that one's good by Noah. And the Bulls lead by three. 
Well, even with contact, Noah gets a bit creative on that finish. Pass to Bailey. 156 left in the first half of basketball. Knocks it loose. Tang with it. Boozer picks him up. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. I tell you what, Butler is a physical dunker. I mean, he takes his craft seriously. I just love watching this guy take off. Now, here's Boozer. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. 125 left in the first half. Four on the shot clock. And here's Maravich for three. It's hauled in by Noah. Noah's got his fifth rebound in this one. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. 106 left now here in the second. Bantley the pass to Eaton. Stockton with it. Hayward on the wing. Rebound by Butler. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Forty seconds left in the second quarter. Lock at six. Down low. Here's Dantley. Feeds it to Malone. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. And the first one drops. Kukoc, he's checked in for Luol Dang. That one misses. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Sloan deciding where to go with it. Love right side. Over Stockton. Goes back up. And it's Love laying it in. Love's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. So we've reached the end. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They saw their lead grow to a high water mark of five in the period. They were in the driver's seat once we got into the second quarter. Their lead is now eight here at the half, and they've got all the... <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Rose. And it's Gilmore in at the center. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Here's Malone. Rebound by the Bulls. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. It's picked off. Dantley the pass to Stockton. Here's Dantley. He's covered by Rhodes. Malone outside. Outside, Maravich. From deep. Another miss by Utah. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. 
and Rose wide open. He shoots. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Stockton with it, and Rose picks him up defensively. And it's slammed in by Malone. Yeah, you, you got to love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. The first free throw is good. And Rose drops them both. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Here's Dantley. He's covered by Rose. Dantley the pass to Eaton. Here's Dantley. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Chicago leading by eight. Upside Pippen. Poke loose. Maravich with it. He's picked up by Pippen. Here's Dentley. Gobert trying to get open. Shots good by Dentley. And Maravich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him, but his eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous dual threat. Outside for Jordan. Second shot opportunity. Bucket is good. Jordan's got eight points. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Utah. So it's Utah now. Trailing here by eight. Maravich the pass to Kirilenko. Here's Dantley. Outside Maravich. Six on the shot clock. Over Rose. And again, it's Utah. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. He dishes it to Jordan. We've got 148 left in the third quarter of the game. His first shot coming late. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Maravich. Bantley the pass to Maravich. Utah the rebound. It doesn't go for him. The Bulls leading by six. The drive by Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. It's slashing there by Jordan. Gets up to speed in a hurry. Just impossible to stay in front of. A different look for Utah. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. That's tipped. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. One twelve left to play in the third. Maravich kicks to Hayward. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. A good job there. Jordan getting him in transition. And he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. And the foul on Rose. That's his first foul. A different look for Utah. Robinson comes in for Andre Kirilenko. And Stockton subbed in for Maravich. 52 seconds left here in the third quarter. On its way from Hayward for two. The Jazz with another miss. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Stockton passes to Boozer. Kicks to Stockton. Pass to 
passes it to Boozer. Shot clock at five. They get a hand on it. Here's Dantley. Got it. Good job in the low post. Rose looking around. And three from Jordan. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You know, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And Utah looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. They've got Malone, and it's Bailey in at the small forward position. Jazz trail by 10. Outside for Stockton. There's the pass to Dantley. Back to Stockton. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dantley. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Butler. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And look at Butler. They're just attacking the rim. Really skilled at drawing the contact and creating foul. The Jazz making a switch here. Maravich is checked in. And so Butler nails both of them. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Pass to Malone. Love again, stuck. Doesn't go for him. And so it's Dang bringing it up for Chicago. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Pass to Noah. that one and it's Utah the other way not great numbers but great effort in this one sounds funny but I think he's been a positive for them another miss by Utah the Bulls leading by 12 on the wing dang dishes it to Armstrong at the elbow. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Noah. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Fires for three. The shot will not fall. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Maravich. It's blocked. Butler on the way. He's covered by Stockton. And yes, it's good. Butler's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. And Butler is a force when he's driving to the basket. God loves gutting the defense, and you just cannot afford to lose it. And Lou Dang gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Horace Grant, he's checked in for the Bulls. Kukoc comes in for Lou Dang. Outside, Maravich. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Joaquin Noah. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. The Bulls leading by 11. On the wing, Kukoc passes it to Grant. Oh, 
Back to Kukoc. Second chance effort. Malone with the block. Bantley the pass to Maravich. To the wing right side. Stockton from outside. Hits the three-point bomb. Stockton's got five points now in the quarter. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Chicago calls timeout. They're up by eight. 139 left to play in the final quarter. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys. The Bulls leading by 11. <laughs> 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five to shoot. Jordan with another miss. Maravich against Pippen. Looking to get back on track here. No good from Maravich. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. A different look for Utah. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Out to Kirilenko. Misses the three. Outside Rose. Traps in the tray. And the Bulls lead by 14. And that's a shot Rose must make consistently. When he's making it rain from there, this team is hard to match up with. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play.